you asked if the base model of the Mac Mini, the $600 version, can handle east-west strings, and you want to see how the CPU performed during a session. We're gonna do all that and a whole lot more in this video, so let's get started. Okay, this is a project that I've been working on now for the past week or so on the Mac Mini. Overall, I've got multiple tracks on this project. I've got drums that are from Contact. I've got drums that are from Logic. I've got bass that is from Contact, bass that is from Logic. I've got strings that are from Contact. I just purchased East West Composer Cloud, uh, not sponsored by the way, gonna try them out because someone in the comments was like, oh, I wonder if this would work well with Composer Cloud. I've used Composer Cloud in the past and I said, that's a great idea. I'm gonna try that for a future video. Hence me getting Composer Cloud. So you're gonna see me using Composer Cloud in this project and seeing how well the Mac Mini handles me recording Composer Cloud on top of this project. I've also got some plugins and effects from Lander. I'll be using their mastering plugin tool as well. They are a sponsor of this channel and if you wanna get 20% off of all their services, including distribution, mastering, and more, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But let's get to this project. So I am using Logic Pro, the latest version of Logic Pro. You're gonna be hearing my project as I edit it and put it together, my thought process, and we'll put the project together and see what the final product can sound like. All right, let's get going. So here is my project so far. Now I've also downloaded some samples and some loops from Lander. They are royalty free, so I'm allowed to use them in my project here and then distribute them if I choose to do so. I've also opened up the processing threads right now and you can actually see it's making is doing some stuff and that's because I opened up Composer Cloud here and I've downloaded the Hollywood Orchestra Opus Edition. So this sounds like. Man, I forgot how good those strings sounds. Okay. Whoo, that sounds nice. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So I've got these filtered drum loops that I got from Lander. It's being run through this Lander Beats effect right here. All right. Those little string sounds right there. Yeah. That is from Contact. That is massive right here. Look how fast it opens again. All right. So I've got some kick in drums here. This is Got Good Drums from Contact. Right there. On top of the Brooklyn drum set from Logic. Got Logic bass here on top of the Rickenbacker bass as well. Just kind of add some depth there. So you can see how fast, like look how fast I'm clicking on these and how fast they open. Bass model, oh and by the way, I should preface that in the previous video I had this at 32 samples. For this project, I have it at 64. Just for fun, let's do 32, and let's see if this can handle it, yes or no, especially with the stuff that we're gonna be doing with Composer Cloud. So I'm gonna hit apply here, and again, base model of the Mac Mini $600 version. I've done nothing special to it. All I've done is I've added a two terabyte solid state drive via USB-C to the back, of this, of the Thunderbolt 4 port. Again, you get Thunderbolt 4 ports with the base model of the Mac Mini. If you get the M4 Pro Mac Mini, then you'll get Thunderbolt 5 ports um, with the super fast transfer rates, but this is working out just fine. And later, later on, again, we're gonna add mastering and stuff to this, right? But for right now, this is what we've got. This is what it sounds like. By the way, this is a contact piano. This is the Grandeur, or not the Grandeur, excuse me. This is Piano Uno. Through that, I've got Lander effects on here that are giving it this like really vintage sound. This is the vintage one. If I turn this off, notice the difference? The Lander one just adds like some character to it. Now I'm noticing that the hi-hat is too loud here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into my drum kit. Perfect, that's better. Now, let's go back to this. This is a sample from Lander. Again, royalty free, you can use them. And I chopped it up and sped it up. The original sample is much slower, but I sped it up to 
uh, the 172 BPM of this track and you get this. Again, added some voice effect to it that's overdriven. This is the normal. And then when you add that to the overall song, you get this. By the way, notice it hasn't given me a warning message of any kind so far as we've been doing this and like full disclosure, and this is not me just like blowing smoke because I'm making this video. Not once has this computer told me that it couldn't handle what I was trying to do on this project as I put this project together. And I very purposefully tried to make this project using third party stuff like Contact Massive, uh, Lander, and in this case, soon to be Composer Cloud but also I wanted to kind of stack it as much as I could. That's why you got two drum tracks, two bass tracks. Like everything is playing beautifully. So far, so good. Now, let's really put it to its test. There's this part in the song right here. So I've got... So I want the strings there to go... So here we go, okay? Look at that shoot through, shoot right up, right? But here we go, let's see if it works. Okay, that was messy, but it didn't mess up. It didn't stop. I recorded the entire section. It didn't stop once. I mean, come on, man. Come, what else do you need? Okay, so it's flipping a little bit, right? Okay, okay, fine, that's fair. This is a heavy plug-in, all right? Let's go to 64. Let's go to 64. 32 popping a little bit. Not stopping, but it's popping a little bit. So let's try 64. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, 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 it's the first time I've ever seen it. It's the first time I've ever seen it give me this message. One more time, let's see. I want to go, I want it to go. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 that's what I want. Da. That's pretty, if I do say so myself. Sixty four samples. Okay, sixty freaking four samples. <laughs> okay, it's not thirty two, but it's sixty four. It's not even ten. It's not even two fifty six. It's not even one twenty eight. Come on, man. That's just not fair. And by, by the way, like I, I realize this is not mixed, all right? We're just kind of doing this for fun, but let's just see. I'm like convinced this this thing is absolutely incredible our uh, guitar by the way sounds like this now that sounds like garbage okay it got recorded through the blue yeti mic <laughs> but it's acoustic it's live I have uh, some EQ on there another lander uh, acoustic plug in here presence boost to kind of give it a little bit more brightness right 
Okay, last but not least, let's add Lander's Mastering. Again, this video is not sponsored by Lander, but they are a sponsor of the channel. If you want to get 20% off of Lander's services like AI Mastering, mastering plugins, plugins for your DAW, courses, and distributing your music, uh, check out my link down below. You'll get 20% off of Lander's services. Anyways, let's see what we've got. By the way, you want to see processing threads, you want to see CPU performance, you see it right here on the left, 25%. Come on, man. I made this on a $600 computer. Here's the part we recorded with Composer Cloud. Let's see if it makes a difference on the CPU. We're kind of nearing 50% right now. Okay, folks so uh, if that doesn't convince you I don't know what will I've got mastering plugins strings from East West you've got um, drums from contact drums from logic bass from contact bass from logic bells and whistles at 64 samples I think I'm in love with this computer I, I like I kind of wish this was my permanent recording setup and not that that one's great them two pro Mac mini is awesome but just this, look at this. This is a tiny little Ikea desk. I've got my M Audio MIDI controller. It's one, two, three and a half octaves. My tried and true tested 2011 Thunderbolt display. I love this thing. You can get it for like a hundred bucks now, 150 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Everything connected via USB 2.0 in the back of this. This connected via Thunderbolt 2 to, Th to Thunderbolt 3 converter to the back of the Mac Mini, the M4 Mac Mini and yeah, I'm blown away. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the description box below. And if you want to hear this song fully complete, let me know also in the comment section down below if you'd like to hear the song. I'd love to show you how I uh, finalize the song, export, master, and distribute it uh, in a follow-up video sometime in the future. Until next time, thank you so much for watching Arc Overload. My name is Amir, like the kind you look into, and I'll see you in the next video.